This is one of five honorable mentions. Um, photograph titled Open for Business. And it has a strong graphic quality. There's a strong design that holds up no matter where you view it from. So the concept is very clear. And it has mood and texture. And I get a sense of um, sort of curiosity. There's a little bit of a story to it. And I like the focus on the concept and the focal point also has the only splash of color. So we have strong contrast with the little color that remains the clear uh, concept of this image. Yeah. And it, I'm not sure where it is, but it feels like it could be a subway station or it's probably not a subway station but it, it, it makes me try to kind of figure it out where it is um, so I kept I noticed it right away it's, it's kind of in a strong spot as you enter the show which also remained in my memory I kind of kept thinking about it as I walked around so it had a lot of strengths this watercolors titled August Sky and it is the second of the five honorable mentions that I've awarded. So this has a beautiful traditional landscape composition. It has a nice um, directional feel with the majority of the composition being sky but the lines lead you down into the landscape and it has appropriate values for a natural landscape in this time of day and it's very harmonious um, with these beautiful earthy greens and then the snap of intense sunlight um, sunset color and I just Notice the texture, the mood, it has depth and really all the qualities of a, of a strong landscape and well handled watercolor. So I, I like this time of day, the way they've communicated um, the time of day. Okay, we have a mixed media piece here receiving an honorable mention and the title is Mariposa. And I noticed this and kept coming back to it because it has a very full, um, balanced sense about it, all the way from the background elements through to some specific individual elements that are featured. And the other elements are very supportive. So they're not competing, all these textures and colors and elements, they're not competing, they're supporting. And she takes, or he, I'm sorry, I don't know <laughs> the artist, um, they take it all the way through to the framing, which gives some very beautiful um, neutral colors, but interest and design. And so it's just all the way around, it's a very, very balanced, uh, interesting piece. So I, I just appreciated the, um, the, the, the main idea was held successfully without being busy or confusing. And it just is a very satisfying, complete, attractive piece. Okay, we have Aboriginal Snail receiving an honorable mention. Uh, this is polymer clay and acrylic. So this is a little sort of unexpected guy and a little surprise when you come across it. It's very eye-catching. It ex exudes a lot of personality. And the longer you look at it, it, it just, 
you see the thoughtfulness in the, the style of painting and color choice that went on the actual shell and then the little quirky antenna touch and also the tile this blue tile evokes the environment you would see in life that you associate snails with dampness or water or and, and I just felt the blue showed him off and was an appropriate um, choice of material so wasn't really expecting to see any sculpted snails <laughs> in the exhibit but it's just very memorable and very eye-catching and graphic and and just has a strong sense about it so the shell is painted and you sort of have this night sky and it does have as the title says an aboriginal feel to it okay this is titled through the window and it's receiving honorable mention it has a lot of um, curious aspects to it 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 has a clear sense of story and you you feel this relationship between this beautiful cattle and the interior person who's just out of view but I kept coming back to it because it has a sense of timelessness it almost could be any time the interior looks to me to be very um, <laughs> old-fashioned rustic but it's just not something that you expect <laughs> is to have this cattle right there at the window and I did notice this natural beautiful natural lighting and the shadows and the arrangement and the way it lights the interior but then you have the strong outdoor natural light on the cow so it, it gives off a very a clear um, has contrast interest emotion and these these items are all very very harmony harmonious they you feel like you're really in some old European farm and then the the color balance is nice with this the strongest light and the strongest item being right here so there's a lot of sort of a circular movement and it's just very interesting very curious okay we have a sculpture here receiving third place and this is titled bookshelf sculpture number one I noticed this because of its very clean design overall shape it has a lot of different elements various shapes and designs within it but it has an overall singular shape which is sort of flowy um, so the textures we have this variety of texture but they also harmonize and blend and I kept sort of looking at it at different angles and I thought every angle was pleasing it it doesn't have just a front and back it's very much a three-dimensional which is nice it's a nice aspect to um, mixed media and sculpture and so it's an abstract piece which I'm not an abstract artist but I do appreciate the qualities within an abstract so the um, 
there's changes. There's little changes, wood to the metal, to the wood, and then you start to realize, well, this is an old shoe stretcher, and this is another piece of a equipment related to shoes. So I, I just appreciated it for for how thoughtful all the v variety of pieces were brought together. <laughs> we have a graphite drawing here titled When Buster Bites, Receiving Second Place Award. This image has two very, very strong elements. The draftsmanship is one, how just how the medium pencil is handled and the draftsmanship of the dog and the boy and the swinging. And the other is the story. So it's just as simple and strong as it can get in those two departments. It's, it's very entertaining and clearly there's motion and action portrayed. So it is portraying all of these elements successfully. Receiving first place in the show, we have this watercolor titled Field Day. This is a very eye-catching piece and very a beautiful color harmony. It has variety, but it all holds together. And the composition is very strong. Underneath, you have a foundation of sort of a third, two-thirds division. And even though the top third is not the majority of the space, it's clearly the strongest part of the painting and strongest interest. Then there's a real variety of edge handling, which is very pleasing. There are sharp, hard edges up in the subject, and it transitions where appropriate into the texture of the ground. And then the ground is handled almost abstractly, which adds to the interest. So it's representational, but it's combined with personal style and as opposed to every blade or every straw being rendered, um, you've got this nice variety of detail in this old tractor and large sort of area for your eye to rest. And it just, it just comes across um, really strong and the, the subject is, is appropriate in how it's handled. I think it's a very successful piece.